Let's have a real talk. Servant leadership, that is so yesterday. And today's video, I'm going to share what is or what should be replacing servant leadership as of now. Welcome to the channel, Leadership with Mike. On this channel, I help you become a more confident leader. And I do that with no nonsense sense, if that makes any sense. So today's video, we're talking about servant leadership. And that has for a while now, let's say even decades, is that possible? But servant leadership has been, to my understanding, one of the best ways to lead a team. Now with servant leadership, the idea is that you work with your team, you work with your team as individuals and you build authority. The idea is that you as a leader, you want authority. You don't want power. Power is the old school way of do it because I said so. And servant leadership is just about building authority so that people want to do the work because you have the authority. They know that you know what's going on. They know that you respect and trust them. See, part of servant leadership is that people know and feel valued by you because you are putting effort into knowing them as individuals. As a servant leader, you are humble. You don't need or you don't try to take all the glory. You make sure that your team gets the applause. Your team gets the pat on the back. As a servant leader, you are always there for your team. You are always ready, willing, and able to listen. And when you want something done, we can have a discussion about it at the round table. And we'll take everybody's opinion and then we will move forward. And one of the biggest things for servant leadership is that genuinely, you care for people. You care for your team. When somebody is hurt, you're hurt. And I don't see anything wrong with this on the surface, but there is a better way, in my opinion. There is a theory that's been bouncing around the business world it is called authentic leadership. <laughs> I know this is mind blowing stuff. I didn't name it, but here's the thing. As an authentic leader, you first have to authentically be yourself. You need to know who you are. But then what you do as a leader is that you lead by example. You're not building authority by talking things out. You are setting the tone because when you say the meeting starts at nine and you don't show up until five after, that's the wrong tone. But being an authentic leader, you are doing the right thing because it's the right thing. You are setting expectations, you're hearing the expectations, and you are not above them. So if you set an expectation that the workday starts at eight o'clock, you best believe you're there at eight o'clock. The next thing about authentic leadership is that you are genuine and you're straightforward. To be an authentic leader, you have to authentically be yourself. To me, what that means is that everybody is entitled to thoughts and feelings and emotions. And I'm not telling you to go out all crazy and emotional, but when you're ticked, you're allowed to be ticked. You're allowed to be straightforward and saying, but why are you doing this? I'm not telling you to berate somebody, but you're allowed to share frustrations. You're allowed to set the tone that we need to get stuff done ASAP. But you're also able to have fun if that is the authentic you. For me, I am very much firm but fair. But if the work's getting done, let's have a good time doing it. Let's take a break, get a coffee, and talk. And I want to know about you and learn about what's going on around you and in your world. And I want to share what's going on with mine, if that seems to fit the conversation. But I want to do it authentically. And here's the thing about being authentic. It's not an act. In my opinion, I could get burnt out by servant leadership. I could get burnt out if I don't set the proper boundaries because I want to hear everybody. I want to try to please everybody. I want to be of service to them. And, and I get that. And that works for so many people. But for me, and maybe for you, being authentically myself, 
even if it's just changing that title of leadership, that's the way I like to go. That's the where I feel most comfortable. And if that's something that you've been struggling with, I want you to sign up to be on the wait list to join the No Nonsense Leadership Academy because that is what we share. That is what the community is built on, is being authentic. Every month there's a new masterclass which shares with you ways that you can be an authentic leader. And when you're an authentic leader, by default, you're a confident leader. And that's what I feel is missing in so many great leaders, confidence in themselves. Now you may regret how you've been leading so far. I promise to you, you will never regret being an authentic leader. But in this video, I share five things that you may regret. Get your coffee. I'll see you there. Ciao.